Let's meet our first guest tonight. He is an Emmy-nominated star of New Girl, Promising Young Woman, The Big Short, The Neighborhood, and so much more. We love him on this show, the always brilliant Max Greenfield! Look at you! Look at that face! We love it so much when you're here, Max. Oh Honestly, my gosh. we do. I, I love, love, I love being again. here. You what? I love being we here. We love you being here. It's the best. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna slip you in the top five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it. Who who rounds out that five? I don't know, but you're in it. All right, that's good. <laughs> I have no idea. Now, Max, let's talk to you about this. It's Mother's Day yes. this weekend. I know that you're very close to your parents. We've, we've talked about that before. What is, what is your mum like? What's, she, what's, she, what's her name? Well, what's she like? You know, my mother, obviously, we all think our mothers are the best. But, you know, coincidentally, she worked at CBS. So... Really? CB, you, they'll like this. Um, <laughs> but... Did but she yeah, really? She, when was that? So she... This was a long time ago, before I was born. She was at Columbia Records which at the ah, time was, was a part of CBS. That's right, yeah. And she was in the A&R department, and she was the only woman in her entire, you know, group. And a bunch of, bunch of men. It's a terrible situation for her. I'm sure they treated, they were all very nice. Sure. Um, but yeah, so she worked with young artists, and she went to, you know, Broadway shows at the time. That's how they scouted different talent. They would go, oh, you're a really good singer, and they would pull those people in, and they would try to do deals with them. But so she had a few young artists that she was working with at the time, one of whom was Billy Joel. And so she went to go do the Turnstiles album. New York State of Mind was on that. And she was sort of Billy's point from the record label. Wow. So yeah. she did a whole album with Billy Joel. We actually have a photo. Look, here's your mum and Billy Joel. Well, so, yes, yeah, so this is years later. So when I was born, my mom retired. Right. And she decided to take care of me instead of pursuing the rest of her career. Oh. Whether that's a mistake or not, I don't know. Surely. A re um, <laughs> she, I can't begin to imagine how much she regrets that decision. I, it's... <laughs> Trust me, I feel it every day. Yeah. Um, she knew Billy Joel. Like, that's, yeah. No, oh. I know. And at the time, you know, when, when Turnstiles came out, as big as New York State of Mind is now, he wasn't Billy Joel at the time. Sure. He was, you know, working on the piano and singing songs, and, and, uh, and he exploded much later. But so, you know, when I was probably like 10, 13, 10 12, something, some, somewhere in there, uh, she went to a Billy Joel concert. And this is many, many years later, and she hadn't seen him or talked to him. And she went with my father, and they were backstage, and she was really nervous before she left because she didn't know if Billy was going to recognize her. Right. And so they're at the concert, and she's sitting, you know, just off stage. And my mom is the type of person who, like, never wants to make a situation about her. She's very quiet, very much like my, myself. <laughs> um, and so she goes to the concert. She's just off stage. And after one of the songs, he notices her just off stage and makes a whole thing and goes, Joe, how are you? And, and that's the picture of him recognizing my mom wow. and making this whole to-do. And he made her night that night, the king he is. And, you know, the next morning, because I was asleep when they got home, and the next morning I wake up and I can see my mom and she's just glowing. And I, I had the concert go and she was like, it was just, you know, Billy. Oh. Now, uh, your mother must be so proud of you for everything that, that you're accomplishing in your career. And you, because, um, even no more so than this, you've recently announced your very first children's book is coming out this fall. How terrific. <laughs> it's called I Don't Want to Read This Book. Uh, what, what, did, what did your mum think about this and what made you want to write this? Well, uh... I love this book. I'm so excited about it. My mom called me when I, or I told my mom that I was writing the book. And she said, oh, oh, God, no. I said, that's not a great reaction. <laughs> and she said, well, how, how are you going to write a book when you, you barely can read one? And I said, that's what the book is about. Right. Um, it's for kids who don't like to read books. Um, it's all the reasons they don't want to read. And by the end of the book, they've read a book. It's for the kids who, you know, go to the book fair and come back with stickers and a bookmark sure. and whatever other crap they sell there. And you're yeah. like, well, we gave you money for books. And they're like, but I got all this cool stuff instead. 
I love this. I'm excited to read this. And you're just on this such a great run at the moment. I mean, the, the neighborhood, your hugely successful show has just been renewed for a fourth season, um, which is incredible. Fourth season. Now, tell me this. When it gets to a fourth season, does the money... Um, is it a big jump? I'm, I'm waiting. Is it a big jump? I, I, I wish I knew. Um, oh, really? How does it work? Again, not a clue. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to call me. Do you want Nick to put a word in? I, I know Nick? how I look, but I am the executive in charge of the show. Well, no, but you could put a call in for me. Yeah. Nick, you, you, you've got that sort of power. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, call, I'll, call who, I'll call a lot of people. Who do, you know, who, do you, who do you know at CBS that you could call right, right now? I mean, I know, I know everyone. What I'm saying is, it's the fourth season, can you get the me guy, a raise? The guy's got a book coming out, and he was just in an Academy Award winning great, movie. Yeah, you're great, you're great no, in all this. But that's, that's sort of the argument they use against you. What do you mean? Well, they go, he's got a book. What, what, else, what else more do you want? Well, another few hundred thousand dollars <laughs> in that. That's what we want. <laughs> that's uh, what we want. I think we're looking at a four on this. See, James feels like he I knows how to negotiate. I don't know that I feel like you're floundering over None there. None of this is making it on the air. <laughs> What do you think? You think you're in the edit now? Come on. I'm just saying. Who, do, who are you to say what goes on the air? <laughs> I'm the senior <laughs> VP of <laughs> late night television. Um. <laughs> but in all seriousness, the show, is, the show is so great, and I love seeing it, and you just go from strength to strength.